Welcome back everyone to Lamas Creations DIY. My name is Tammy. Today I'm participating in Crafted by Corey's mini challenge where anything goes so we can make any kind of minis that we want. I'm going bee themed. So let's start crafting. I'm starting out with uh, one of these. I got this three pack of clear jars from Dollarama and starting out with one I'm going to take some jute wine jute wine yeah jute twine and hot glue and wrap it all the way around this jar all the way to the top I start off with some hot glue on the first three rows at least and then I wrap 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 and every once in a while add some glue and I go all the way to the rim Just doing the same thing. Next, taking a lighter, I'm going to send all those little pieces that all stick up on the jute twine. They drive me nuts, but it also gives it a nice little burnt look. Then I traced on a circle onto some black foam, and I'm going to cut it out and hot glue it onto the center of this little jar. Then taking some more jute twine, I'm going to hot glue and wrap it around that foam piece that we glued onto the jar just to outline it. Then taking some flowers that I had, uh, some of it looked like baby's breath and these yellow daisies, I'm going to hot glue the baby's breath on top just to give it a little something extra. Clipping off any extra that I don't need. And then I take three of the little sunflower daisies, whatever you want to call these flowers, and hot glue them along the side. And when you're done that, your little bee skeep is complete. Next crack. Take in another one of these jars and the lid. I'm going to use my hot glue gun and poke a hole into the lid. Then I'm going to paint the lid black. I believe I give it two coats. And then we're going to paint the jar with this copper color from Folk Art. And I go in a circle motion all over the jar. I also painted a skewer stick brown. Next, taking a little bead that kind of looked like a honeycomb bead, I'm going to hot glue it to the end of the stick. And then taking my hot glue, I'm going to let it run down the ball and onto the stick. Kind of looking like honey is dripping from it. I'm going to stick it into the jar, hot glue it into that hole, and then add some hot glue to the top of the jar. And then I take my gold metallic marker and I'm going to color in all the hot glue, making it look like some golden honey. I then use this same marker and I write on sweet as honey. And this one is complete as well. Now I picked up these socks at Dollarama. It came in a three pack. So for one of the socks, I'm going to add in some rocks into the bottom to give it some weight. And then I'm going to stuff it with some pillow stuffing. Then using a little elastic, I'm going to tie it off on the top with the elastic. And then cut off the extra part of the sock. I have this gold, goldy like foam. I'm going to cut off a half of an inch strip and it's a uh, sticky on the one side. So I pull off the backing, but then I also use hot glue to make sure it sticks and I hot glue it and wrap it around the bottom of this sock. And then I do another one about a half an inch above this one. Just hot gluing and wrapping as I go and cutting off any extra that I don't need. Then taking that same goldy foam, I'm going to draw on a wing, cut it out, and then I use that same one to draw and cut out another one. Then using that, I draw it onto some black foam, and then I cut it out just below the line because I didn't want it the same size. I wanted it just a tad bit smaller, and I make two of these as well. We're going to hot glue them together, the black on top of the gold. <clears throat> Excuse me. And 
and then we're going to hot glue them to the back of this sock. I also color in the back of that foam, the white one there, I color that in with the gold metallic marker. Then taking the matching sock to that pair, I cut off the toe and then we're going to wrap it on top of, like put it on top of this head on the top to cover where we, that elastic was. Fixing it to make sure it's good. And then I painted a bead black. We're going to hot glue it onto the front to give our little bee gnome a nose. And then I just tack and hot glue the hat a, close to his nose on either side of his nose and a few places around the hat to make sure it's nice and secure. Then taking a piece of furry felt, furry, furry stuff for his beard, I'm going to hot glue it just under his nose and on either side. And then I tuck and hot glue the ends of that underneath its hat, giving his beard a nice wraparound look. I enjoyed making this little bee gnome. He is absolutely cute. Then I also uh, painted two little tiny black beads. I'm going to cut off two pieces of wire the same size. Just with my snips there. And then I'm going to string one of the beads on. And the top I'm going to kind of wrap and curl it around. And then using some hot glue, I'm going to add it to the end of the bead, push it up to the part that we wrapped and glued around, and so that way it's secure. Then I add some hot glue to the end of that wire, and I push it into his head, and kind of use the sock in his head to hold it into place. I do that to both sides. Then I painted the end of a skewer stick black. I'm going to clip it off. And then I'm going to cut a little teeny tiny hole in the back of him. Put some hot glue on the end of that little skewer stick and we're going to glue his little stinger in the back of course in the back when you're done that he's done now next craft i printed off these words off of my computer and i cut them down as close as i can right down to as close as close can be then i painted a tumbling tower block yellow and four of these little other blocks black and i'm going to mod podge these little words onto the little black blocks. We're going to hot glue them on top of the yellow tumbling tower block any way you'd like. I kind of put them a little sideways and then taking some modeling clay I'm going to take off a piece and we're going to attempt to make a bee. I hard to explain how to do it so I'm just gonna let you watch. I'm really not sure how long it takes for this stuff to dry because I made him and then put him aside and by the time I got back into my garage it was like a week later so I don't know how long it takes and then we're going to paint him he's a little hard to see but he's cute cute little bee again I'll just let you watch as I paint Then taking that little bee in a pencil, I'm going to wrap the wire around the pencil to make it kind of squirrely looking. Clip off any extra. Then using my pokey tool, I'm going to poke a hole into the back of the tumbling tower block. Add a little bit of hot glue to the end of my wire. And then we're going to stick it into that hole and wait till it dries. Then I bring it up, fix the bee, and this cute little thing is done. 
Now I picked this here holder up at Dollarama and what I'm going to do is take it all apart because all I want is that wood thing on the back. I then painted it yellow on both sides and then I printed this here off on my computer. The bee with the wreath I got from Sandra from the Schwoven's Nest and then I added on Welcome to Our Hive. Then taking some water I'm going to run it around the sign and then using my finger I'm going to take it out. I didn't want it cut so I just I did it that way. Then taking a small drop of brown paint and a lot of water I'm going to just lightly go over that paper because it was really really bright white and I wanted to tone it down a bit. It's hard to see it on here but it does tone it down some. Then taking some Mod Podge, I'm going to Mod Podge on the back of my little sign and we're going to put it right on top of that yellow painted part, board. I don't even want to call that. I found these at Dollarama. They reminded me of honeycomb pieces. So I'm taking a few and I'm going to arrange them onto the sign. Just any way you like. And then I took some brown uh, burnt umber acrylic paint, painted them, and then wiped them off so they look like a stain, and hot glued them onto the sign. I will show you everything at the end on the tiered tray. Now taking some white uh, nylon rope, that's what it is. I'm going to hot glue and all the way around this sign. Hot glue and wrap it all the way around just to give it a nice finishing edge. I then using some black chalk paint, I'm going to paint that white nylon rope black. And just with a fine, fine brush. Trying my best not to get any on the sign. I also painted a tumbling tower block yellow. We're going to glue that to the back and this project is complete. While I was doing the modeling clay, I made a ball and I stuck it to the top of the top, nope, to the bottom of this little clay pot so it had a little indent so it'll be easier to uh, glue down. And I also painted that both of those yellow. Now taking some more black foam, I'm going to again draw out a wing. I folded it in half and then I cut it out so I have two and then again using that I did it some on a yellow foam and I cut it just below that line. We're going to hot glue the yellow on top of the black making a set of wings just like I did on the other one and then we're going to set those aside. Now taking two yellow with black speckled eggs I'm going to paint them black along with part of the skewer stick that I stuck them on. Then taking the black paint again and a paintbrush, I'm going to freehand just the, the width of the paintbrush, three lines on this little pot. Giving our next little bee his stripes, her stripes. I then take a black paint marker and attempt to draw on a cute little face. Now we're going to, using Eileen's tacky glue and some hot glue, we're going to glue the little head on top of the body. We're going to glue on our little antennas there, is that what you call them? On top of the head, just with some hot glue. We're going to glue on his wings, or her wings. I like to want, I want this one to be a girl, yeah. We got a boy gnome bee. Let's have a girl. Little cute pot, cute pot. Cute clay pot bee. And then, what am I doing? Oh, we're gluing on her little stinger. Then I picked up one of these, I grabbed one of these little pieces again. Wrote on, be kind. And then I outlined it in yellow. We're going to hot glue it to the center of this little bee. And this one is done too. Next crack. Taking a square piece of wood that you get in a pack of 
six. I got mine from Dollarama. I'm going to attempt to draw on to make it look like a house. Then using a utility knife and my ruler, I'm going to skort, 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 skort. Break it off with my hand. Break it off in pieces. And I'm going to cut those two sides off. It was fairly easy. Looks harder than it is. Sanding those two edges down to make sure they're all nice and smooth. Don't want anything sticking up. Then I found some scrapbooking paper that I thought was really pretty. I'm going to trace out the house onto it. Cut it out with my scissors. And then using a glue stick, we're going to glue it onto the top, the front of this board. Now taking a big tongue depressor popsicle stick, I'm going to cut off the round end, line it up on the side using my pencil, mark it, draw a line and then cut it out. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Line it up onto the side to make the roof and then cut it out. I then painted those black on both sides. Then I painted these letters uh, black and yellow and what I'm going to do on the front of this house. We're going to put these stickers which end up saying Farm Fresh. Farm Fresh Honey. Some of the letters didn't have the openings on them so I had to use a little knife to make my own. Now we're going to glue the roof on to the top just with some hot glue. And then I took this nylon rope and I'm going to hot glue it all around the base of this house. I take that same nylon rope make a shoestring bow and then I hot glue it to the peak of the house. I then taking some yellow acrylic paint I'm going to paint the nylon rope going around the house and I also paint that bow yellow. Taking a tumbling tower block we're going to hot glue it to the back and this little house sign is done. I painted three blocks two yellow and one black on the yellow ones I wrote B and I'm going to attempt to draw a B with his little lines and on the black one I wrote kind. Then I'm going to hot glue all three together and continue his little buzz lines. And then I take some jute rope, wrap it around and hot glue it in place. I wrap it around twice. And then I took more of those little pieces there, hot glues on those on top, and you got a cute little book stack. Now I'm reusing this little stand. First, what I did is I took it all apart, and then I'm attempting to take off the sides. And I do do it, but I, I made it harder than it was. I had all measurements going on and everything, but in the end, I just basically cut whatever. And I did it to both pieces. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's how that one turned out. And look at this big one. It's a cutting board. Both of them were. The inside is like just filled with little pieces of wood. And some of it is hollow. Never would have guessed it. I thought these were solid. But they're not solid. I then fill in all the holes where all those screws were with some wood filler. And I also, and then I take it and sand it all down. I spray painted one side of both of them yellow and the other side black, just with some spray paint. It was actually nice out for me to do it. And then the, whoa, what I'm doing with the edges is I'm taking some of this really pretty lace and I'm going to run it and glue it along the edges of both of the boards. The little stand that I had, I painted it black and put yellow polka dots on it. That was the only thing I could think of. And we're going to, with some Eileen's Tacky Glue and some hot glue, we're going to glue it to the two boards 
so that they're connecting together and this tray will be complete. I added some feet to it to rise it up a bit and this is what everything looks like together. I love it. I've never had anything like this before and I'm absolutely loving it. So colorful. I would like to thank Corey for hosting this minis challenge. I always enjoy doing it. If you're coming from another channel, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and don't forget that bell. Have a wonderful Friday. Bye.